This job has allowed me to go to places I'd never thought I would ever travel to. Grew up doing graffiti, and like kind of this is where all the mural stuff came from eventually. But when I was younger, I was a big skateboarder. I was like traveling for skateboarding. I was like fully sponsored, and and uh, I when I was 11 years old, I moved from Los Angeles, where I'm from, to Nashville, where which was like a huge culture shock. And there was like there was no skateboarding, there was no graffiti or murals or like much culture. And so like I wanted, I had like yearned for those things so much that I just fully dove into skateboarding, dove into graffiti and wanted those things, you know, around me. And uh, I think that's like the push that got me into art and everything else and kind of led my path. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I did graffiti for a long time, got in trouble a few times. And you know, as I grew up, I was like, okay, and I, I kind of got like segued out of like skateboarding and graffiti for a good 10 years. I, I started like art school and then got an opportunity. I was going, going to the Art Institute of Atlanta and I was there for one semester and started a street marketing company promoting, you know, bands and local shows. And, and I, I had moved to Atlanta after high school. Um, and just kind of got swept up in that world and ended up like having to quit school with my second semester. Um, it, the company took off and that was like the next 10 years of my life and started promoting concerts for Live Nation and ended up doing a lot of work with companies like that and producing festivals. And so I was in that world for a long time and like skateboarding went wayside, art completely went wayside. I was always dabbling with stuff, you know, drawing things here and there, doing paintings for friends. But about six years ago, I got one opportunity um, from, from PBR, from Pabst Blue Ribbon, which was a client, client of mine. And they knew that I had a graffiti past and past, and they uh, wanted a graffiti mural in a, in a venue in Nashville. And I was like, okay, cool. And it was so much fun. It like brought me back into that nostalgic realm of you know what I grew up doing. And um, I was like, I gotta figure out how to do this. <laughs> And within two months, I quit everything else and built a website with you know, whatever portfolio stuff I had and just like went for it. I was living in Budapest all of 2018 and 19. A little about a year total. Um, and I got an opportunity there for, I had an artist residency at the Budapest Art Factory, which was an incredible space with some incredible artists there. And they have a program where they rotate artists from all over the world to come there for a month. And, I ended up getting a year-long thing and getting like a solid studio space there, and and with Budapest being so uh, centrally located and a good hub for travel, I ended up painting all over Europe. I highly recommend if you're able to go spend a year somewhere else, completely out of your comfort zone, and travel for real. So, I mean, I do shapes and colors. I do you know geometric gradient work for the most part. I do a lot of like organic sort of gradient work, which I've been, I kind of do 50-50 with both of those now. And then I do also like, somehow like I, I've been able to do these big, huge word collages, these black and white like, multi, like you know, 200 word word collages on sides of buildings, which I, I usually do like a few of those a year. So it's a completely different side of my brain or a completely different like art form. Like you wouldn't know that I, the same artist did both of those. I always visit like the core skate shop in whatever city, if there is one. And usually like when I go there, like I can, especially if like I'm traveling solo, I usually get a good sort of like lay of the land from like the local skateboarders. Cause when you're a skateboarder, you see things differently. You, you, you know, you walk and skate around. And so they usually have like the best info, like all the cool things to do in a city. Because I get to go travel to new cities and meet all kinds of new people doing all kinds of cool things. Um, that's, I mean, I, I'm very thankful for what I get to do. It's a sweet life, I can never complain. <laughs>